see around here somewhere. So everything since you had that beautiful boxing, bam, 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 bam. And Nate felt like, wait a second, I said, well, well, hold on, Nate. Don't worry. You can also move and kick. With your, like, like boxing, boom, boom, boom. You touch the guy, you push him out, he wants to go inside, bam, you got me, you know, he's fucking this guy. But when So the reason that I keep my fingernails this long is if I get into a street altercation, I'll claw someone's eyes out, they look pretty, and your mom likes it when I scratch her butt. Hands of platinum. I'm just trying to change the world, man. All you can cry babies, just keep on talking. Watch this motherfucking world change platinum. To be honest, before this fight even started up, I thought I'd be crazy not to work with Frank Lester. He's been around Cowboy all this time, but to be honest, we haven't worked on anything Cowboy specific. We just working on a better Mike Perry. Woo, I'm getting some hate for that Colin Kaepernick post. They kneel cause police was killing the American people. I agree with that, but over the flag and stuff, you know, I definitely support our troops. Frank the Tank was a military man. I definitely support and appreciate him and all his service and any other person who served. I would have served, but I fucked up as a young kid. I became a felon, so I could not serve. But I do not fuck with the police like that. They be killing people. They be doing shit, be taking advantage of their power. I ain't with all that. Not all of them, a lot of them, maybe most of them, who knows, but I support America, Donald Trump, support the American people, and I support standing up for something or kneeling, even if it means you're sacrificing everything. And people don't understand that Colin Kaepernick wasn't signed as a quarterback again because his stats was garbage. So... Yo, so a lot of people be like, why are your fingernails so long? I'll tell you in the morning. Cormier is stating that he has better knockout power at heavyweight. He's more dangerous at heavyweight. And it's believable, but I would be, I would have a much stronger knockout power at heavyweight as well. And I think that it would be a nice little twist that the fans would love to see. Um, but my vision is fighting him at light heavyweight first. I think beating him a third time would really do something to his confidence. In his head, I feel like he thinks he can still beat me, uh, especially because the fight was going fairly well before I knocked him out. Um, and I want, to do, I want to crush that confidence. I want to break his will. I want to break his, the idea of him thinking he could beat me. And so I believe doing that at light heavyweight would be the smartest thing to do uh, for a third time. And then leading into our fourth fight, possible fourth fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, his confidence won't be in the right spot. It won't. And I think it'll help me take that, uh, that fourth victory over him and that heavyweight championship from him. But, you know, since we're talking about John Jones, does that third fight with Jones, does that need to happen before Daniel is done, in your opinion? 
especially given all the questions about John's career following the failed drug test? Um, for me, he doesn't ever need to fight him. It's it's one of those things that it is what it is, you know. Uh, you know, unfortunately for Jones, he he's got two things that are going against him that that forever will haunt him, you know. But that's his doing or not his doing. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is, you know, uh, it is what it is. And, and Daniel, Daniel, um, if Daniel feels he needs to have another one with him, then that's on Daniel. And I'll back him 100%. Uh, you know, I'm going to always be on my fighter's side. So whatever my fighter wants to do, I'm going to be with him. But right now, as far as I know, DC's planning one light height, one light heavyweight uh, title defense. And then Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar, and then calling it quits. Now, if he decides that there's a third fight looming with, with Jones somewhere down the line, that's between DC and the UFC, you know. But whatever he decides, if that is the case, then I will be 100% behind him. And, and I would want it for him because that's what he wants. But if he does want it, I, I don't want it either. Tyron Woodley or Darren Till, and how do they get it done? I, I love Woodley. I'd like him to win, but I'm going to go with Till. Knew it. I knew I it. Think he, I, knew I think it. he's too big, and I think if wow. he sits on the fence with this kid or he gets caught rushing in with that blitz, it could be a problem. So I'm going to go with uh, – looks like he's got the momentum. He's been active. Uh, again, I'd like Woodley to win because I like him. I think he's a great analyst. He's a, He's an intelligent dude. He's a great fighter. But I think this kid might be too big and – it's just his time. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be. I think this other kid's going to bring it different. He's a different fighter than Wonder Boy. He's more of a pressure fighter, not a counter fighter. And I think he could do both, but I think he's going to try to impose his size. And it really just depends on who controls the range of that fight. So, whatever. We'll see. Like, it always comes down to. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I think this kid looks like he's he's got the momentum now. He's got the confidence and he's a big kid, and he hits hard, and you know we'll see if his chin and, holds up. I think he's going to be fine. And, Ray, you make a good point because uh, if it is a strategic fight and they are kind of – it is about finding that range, Darren Till, the taller, longer fighter, you, you have to think it's probably going to favor him. Yeah, yeah, and I think it makes a difference because he's not – like Wonder Boy gets you with those tricky kicks from the outside. This guy's going to be a little more in your face – and if that fight ends up in the pocket, it could be, you know, firstest with the mostest is the bestest. But we'll see. I think he's a young kid with probably a good chin. And I think the, that's going to be the difference in the fight to me anyway. How do you think Woodley approaches it? And ultimately, will he remain the UFC welterweight champ this weekend? This is a tough one. Listen, I think Tyron Woodley certainly has the capabilities of not only winning this fight, but also winning it by knockout. You know, we forget about his power uh, and his ability to knock guys out. And he knows how to fight a fight southpaws. We talked about his record. Every single guy is one, two, three, four, five. His last six fights or so have been all against southpaws, essentially. Wonder Boy, he switches back and forth. But uh, we'll, we'll just say that to make my point. But, uh, you know, so Woodley, and he also knows how to stay patient. He also knows how to win a decision as well, and he's the kind of guy that has shown the ability to stay disciplined throughout 25 minutes and wait for his spots to attack. Um, And we also saw him deal with adversity in that fight against Damian Maia, where he tore his shoulder and had to deal with essentially 20 minutes of fighting with just one arm. So um, I I think the threat of the takedown needs to be present here. I don't know if we're going to see a Tyron Woodley who relies heavily on his wrestling here. I don't know if he likes to do that. Um, you know, in a lot of his fights for fear of maybe getting too tired. Uh, but Tyron, I-, I think, needs to take that a measured approach here to wait for his spot to get in and land that big shot. Now, it's not going to be an easy task against Darren Till, who I believe is going to try to lead the dance and make the octagon as small as possible. I think if he can back Woodley up uh, and keep him on the outside, uh, I think Till can win this fight, both by knockout or by decision. Uh, um, I think we saw the patience and discipline of Darren Till as well against Wonder Boy. We also saw, have seen his ability to knock people out. His most dangerous weapons, what are they? All on the left side. His left kick to the body, his left kick to the head, his left hand to the head, uh, and his left elbow is something that Tyron Woodley really needs to be able to neutralize in this fight. Otherwise, Woodley's going to be in big-time trouble. I don't know if I'm going with my heart or my head, but I am going to pick Tyron Woodley here uh, to win by decision. 